Hi, my name is Dylan Hong and I'm a junior at Phoenix Country Day School. During the first half of my junior year, I took a class called Patterns in Visual Media. I thought it was a phenomenal class and I was really disappointed that I wouldn't be able to take it the second half of my junior year. So I talked to my teacher and I talked to the head of the school and they were very supportive in my pursuing coding and developing in an independent study. I recently heard of this new device called the Leap Motion and I immediately wanted to play around with this new technology. So with some brainstorming and planning, my independent study, Exploration into Interactive Technologies, was created. My plan was to use the Leap Motion to control physical objects. I wanted to bridge the gap between innovative software and existing hardware. So I had this vision of using the Leap Motion to control this RC helicopter. I was relatively new at coding at the time, so I had to find a way to use the Leap Motion to code for things I already knew how to code for. To do this, I modified an art piece that I created in Patterns of Visual Media, and I transformed it so I could use the Leap Motion to control that art piece. It took a little bit, but after I figured that out, it was time to work with the helicopter. Because I lack a lot of coding knowledge, I scoured the web for source code that would help me in this project. I had really only found one person who successfully completed this project, so most of what I found was just not functioning or incomplete. Through my research, I found that RC helicopters communicate to their controllers using infrared LEDs. To communicate with these LEDs, I needed to use an Arduino, and because I didn't have that much of a background in this area either, my teacher was able to help me because of her pre-existing knowledge about circuitry. Unfortunately, it was very difficult for me to communicate through the helicopter successfully because the infrared LEDs communicate through binary, which is very hard to manipulate. What I eventually found out was that I could take the pre-existing information of binary and convert that to the Arduino, which I was able to manipulate through the leap motion. For a long time before I found this, it was very difficult for me to continue working on this project because it really felt like a dead end. It was really just one day when I came into school and I was typing some code and I just, I tried something that I did not expect to work at all and the helicopter just took off and that's when I knew I had really figured something out. After that point, I started working on my helicopter obsessively. Every break, every time I had any free time in school, I would come down to this room and I would just type code and I would try to figure it out. Finally. After frantically writing code, I was able to create two algorithms, one that converted the information from the leap motion to the Arduino, and one from the Arduino to the helicopter. And now I have a finished project. So thank you to Dr. Tolentino and Phoenix Country Day School for making this project possible. And here's some additional footage of the helicopter in action.